Performance in mid-lactation is very, very important because high performance in mid-lactation extends performance into late lactation. So grass quality is very, very important and quantity is very, very important. Uh, leaving a butt behind has a big effect on performance. Uh, it can reduce milk yield by 450 litres per cow for the months of June, July and, and August. So it's important to take out that butt, that if grass has become too strong, if covers in excess of 1400 are being grazed, that that paddock is skipped and move the cows onto a much fresher, cleaner paddock and get that paddock back into the rotation then as quickly as, as possible. Um, also, digestibility is very, very important. Uh, a moderately sized cow will eat about 17 kilograms of dry matter at 80 DMD. However, if that DMD drops to 76, that intake decreases to 15 and a half. So that's a very, very significant drop in, in intake, which will drop performance by about 3.5 litres per cow. Um, to do that, you really got to get on top of grass. You really got to assess the quality. You've got to walk those paddocks. You've got to take out some, some grass. And where you've got after grass, make most use of, of after grass. If that's not an option, well then obviously supplementation is an option. By and large, it's energy is the main factor that's involved. So medium protein, 14.5% protein feed with CalMag and minerals included, and preferably it has to be high fibre based, high in digestible fibre to encourage intake and reduce the risk of uh, ruminal acidosis. We're a number a few weeks away from, from late lactation. Again, it's important to manage uh, intake and manage dry matter intake and energy intake into late lactation. Uh, because it has a big effect on, on milk lactose. Cows that are stressed and reduced intake will have lower lactose and uh, will reduce the quality of the milk with a subsequent reduction in milk protein. So keep those cows on good pastures, supplement a little bit of concentrate where required, and if grass becomes scarce, well then a bit of buffer feed may be required, a bit of hydra matter bale silage or maize silage or something just to encourage the intake and settle, that herd, settle the herd on, on grass. Um, more often than not, for late lactation, uh, a 14% protein or alternatively a 16% protein feed will, will carry those cows through. Um, the CalMag and Millers will be included in, in two and a half kilos, but again it's about managing intake, building body condition reserves and setting those cows up for the dry period. If performance starts to drop during July and, and, and August, maybe grass quality has deteriorated or maybe grass is a little bit scarce, well then a kilo or two of concentrate can work, can work very, very well. And again, in a 16% protein feed, a product like Gain, Wean and Build will do a very, very good job and will push performance for the, of those animals. It's actually easier to get that performance off grass rather than restricted performance at grass and then having to push performance harder when those animals go in next door over the, over the coming winter. So Gain, Wean and Build is the best product in that situation.